Calcium sulfate is a common laboratory and industrial chemical. In the form of I cubed anhydrite, it is used as a desiccant. It is also used as a coagulant in products like tofu. In the natural state, unrefined calcium sulfate is a translucent, crystalline white rock. When sold as a color indicating variant under the name dryrite, it appears blue or pink due to impregnation with cobalt, 2, chloride, which functions as a moisture indicator. The hemihydrate is better known as plaster of Paris, while the dihydrate occurs naturally as gypsum. The anhydrous form occurs naturally as I squared anhydrite. Depending on the method of calcination of calcium sulfate dihydrate, specific hemihydrates are sometimes distinguished alpha hemihydrate and beta hemihydrate. They appear to differ only in crystal shape. Alpha hemihydrate crystals are more prismatic than beta hemihydrate crystals and, when mixed with water, form a much stronger and harder superstructure. Commercial production and recovery The main sources of calcium sulfate are naturally occurring gypsum and anhydrite, which occur at many locations worldwide as evaporites. These may be extracted by open cast quarrying or by deep mining. World production of natural gypsum is around 127 million tons per annum. In addition to natural sources, calcium sulfate is produced as a byproduct in a number of processes, in flue gas desulfurization, exhaust gases from fossil fuel power stations and other processes are scrubbed to reduce their sulfur oxide content, by injecting finely ground limestone or lime. This produces an impure calcium sulfate which oxidizes on storage to calcium sulfate. In the production of phosphoric acid from phosphate rock, calcium phosphate is treated with sulfuric acid and calcium sulfate precipitates. In the production of hydrogen fluoride, calcium fluoride is treated with sulfuric acid, precipitating calcium sulfate. In the refining of zinc, solutions of zinc sulfate are treated with lime to co-precipitate heavy metals such as barium. Calcium sulfate can also be recovered and reused from scrap drywall at construction sites. These precipitation processes tend to concentrate radioactive elements in the calcium sulfate product. This is particularly the case with the phosphate byproduct, since phosphate rocks naturally contain actinides. Dehydration reactions, heating gypsum to between 100 AA degrees Celsius and 150 AA degrees Celsius partially dehydrates the mineral by driving off approximately 75% of the water contained in its chemical structure. The temperature and time needed depend on ambient partial pressure of H2O. Temperatures as high as 170 AA degrees Celsius are used in industrial calcination, but at these temperatures I cubed anhydrite begins to form. The reaction for the partial dehydration is, cast so for a 2 hours 2 O plus E to cast so for A A 1 half H 2 O plus 1 O 1 half H 2 O, the partially dehydrated mineral is called calcium sulfate hemihydrate or calcium gypsum, where N is in the range 0.5 to 0.8. The dehydration begins at approximately 80 A A degrees Celsius, although in dry air, some dehydration will take place already at 50 AA degrees Celsius. The heat energy delivered to the gypsum at this time tends to go into driving off water rather than increasing the temperature of the mineral, which rises slowly until the water is gone, then increases more rapidly. The endothermic property of this reaction is exploited by drywall to confer fire resistance to residential and other structures. In a fire, the structure behind a sheet of drywall will remain relatively cool as water is lost from the gypsum, thus preventing damage to the framing and consequent structural collapse. But at higher temperatures, calcium sulfate will release oxygen and act as an oxidizing agent. This property is used in aluminothermy. In contrast to most minerals, which when rehydrated simply form liquid or semi-liquid pastes, or remain powdery, calcium gypsum has an unusual property. When mixed with water at normal temperatures, it quickly reverts chemically to the preferred dihydrate form, while physically setting to form a rigid and relatively strong gypsum crystal lattice, CASO 4 aa one half h 2 o plus 1 or 1 half h 2 o or CASO 4 a 2 hours 2 o This reaction is exothermic and is responsible for the ease with which gypsum can be cast into various shapes including sheets, sticks, and molds. 
mixed with polymers, it has been used as a bone repair cement. Small amounts of calcium gypsum are added to earth to create strong structures directly from cast earth, an alternative to adobe. The conditions of dehydration can be changed to adjust the porosity of the hemihydrate, resulting in the so-called alpha and beta hemihydrates. On heating to 180 AA degrees Celsius, the nearly water-free form, called I-cubed anhydrite is produced. I-cubed anhydrite reacts slowly with water to return to the dihydrate state, a property exploited in some commercial desiccants. On heating above 250 AA degrees Celsius, the completely anhydrous form called I-squared anhydrite or natural anhydrite is formed. Natural anhydrite does not react with water, even over geological time scales, unless very finely ground. The variable composition of the hemihydrate and I-cubed anhydrite and their easy interconversion, is due to their possessing nearly identical crystal structures, containing channels that can accommodate variable amounts of water, or other small molecules such as methanol. Commercial use in the synthesis of sulfuric acid, up to the 1970s, commercial quantities of sulfuric acid were produced from the anhydrite of calcium sulfate. Upon being mixed with shell or mal, and roasted, the sulfate liberates sulfur dioxide gas, a precursor in sulfuric acid production. The reaction also produces calcium oxide, a precursor in cement production. Fouling deposits Calcium sulfate is a common component of fouling deposits in industrial heat exchangers, because its solubility decreases with increasing temperature. Discovery on Mars 2011 findings by the Mars Opportunity rover show a form of calcium sulfate in a vein on the surface. Images suggest the mineral is gypsum. See also, calcium sulfate, alabaster, anhydrite, bathybius hanaclii, chalk, gypsum, gypsum plaster, phosphor gypsum, flue gas desulfurization, references. External links, International Chemical Safety Card 1215, NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards